Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here are the Gatorbacks by David Blaine, so let's get right on in to this review. This is probably one of the coolest tuck cases I've seen in a really long time on a deck of cards. It's completely embossed, it has nice like metallic green elements, and it's completely foiled out and it just looks awesome. So on the front you can see that there's that little green gator, Gatorbacks. It's a very reoccurring symbol in this deck. There's a spade on here on both sides intertwined within all of this background imagery and detailing. And then it says Gatorbacks at the bottom, premium edition. And then it, you have like the little David Blaine upside down spade right there. And it's embossed, and the whole deck is kind of like matte, and it feels really good. On the side, it says the United States Playing Card Company, and it's embossed. And on the other side, it says DB Productions and Mark Stutzman. So this was a collaboration between David Blaine and Mark Stutzman. On the bottom, it has some distribution information, and it is embossed as well. On the top, I can't 100% read it, but I'm assuming it says New York, and then it has some Roman numerals down here. And it has a tax stamp-like steel right there, which is custom, and it says official, and it has the David Blaine spade in the middle of it. And on the back, we get a glimpse of the back design, which is actually the same image you see on the front, but we'll get more into that once we get inside the cards. On the flap, it says made in the USA, and it's also embossed, but a cool element about this deck is it actually has this like clock world thing that's a shiny black like material and if you, you can like feel it on the actual deck box itself. And there's lots of hidden things in this deck that wasn't completely given out to the public but like within here there's like a reveal you can find or use or something to your nature if you're doing magic or anything like that. So first off we're gonna take a look at the back design. This back design here has green metallic inks on it and this is the first time the United States Playing Card Company has done metallic inking on the back, like the back design, and on the faces to match. So this is really cool and something that is happening for the first time, so it's very interesting. It's like that spade that you see on the front intertwined with all of this like inner workings in the background. And then in the middle there's the pivotal point which is the gator with a girl on the back of it and that's an image that you see consistently throughout this deck. I think this is a beautifully done back design. It's very David Blaine. It looks so fantastic and it really pops. It probably gravitates towards me a little bit because green is one of my favorite colors. However, it is just beautifully done and just looks fantastic. So next we're going to take a look at the Jokers. As I said before, there's the girl on the back of the gator kind of like riding it and that's a reoccurring image you see. This one, the girl is standing on top of the gator holding its mouth open with like a rain type thing and then this one the girl is actually sitting on the back of the gator using like the reins and it has J's on both of the sides. Next you get a blank card and then a David Blaine promo card. Alright next we're gonna check out the Ace of Spades and this Ace of Spades is very cool. You see the image of the gator and he's kind of like reaching up to like eat or bite a like bird figure and you see like water images around him and waves and all that good stuff and it says Gatorbacks at the bottom and it says number 127 and in the O of the gator it kind of looks like a gator's eye or like maybe a snake's eye so that's a really cool thing and added touch. So next we're going to check out the court cards. We have the king, the queen, and the jack of spades. They're standard looking and they have metallic inking on them which make them really pop. Um, you can see David Blaine as the king of spades here and he uses uh, images of other people's faces inside the actual court cards so they're not 100% all standard. They all have a little bit different faces if you can see from those right there. But if we take a look through the rest of the deck you'll notice all the pips are standard and like the placement. However, there's a metallic inking on the number cards and the faces and the backs. So it's a very awesome touch to this deck. This deck right here is probably one of the coolest decks I've gotten in a while. It is overall a completely solid deck of cards. I just absolutely love this deck right here. It was done so beautifully and so well. It looks great. It has inking on the fronts and the backs. It has foiling and embossing on the entire tuck box on the inside and the out. It has a, a tax stamp seal on it that plays back to like the 1800s. It handles fantastic. And the stock is just so soft in it. 
springy, and it's just overall such a solid deck of cards. So this overall deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. The stock of this deck is extremely soft and extremely springy, and the cards came out of the box almost feeling like I just didn't need to break them in. Like, they already felt like they had been worn in and they just, like, had been used, and it just feels so great, and the stock is just amazing on this deck right here. So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. I think the look of this deck is extremely cool, very David Blaine. I love the green, I love how it pops, I love the tuck box, I love the jokers, I love the back design, I love the metallic inking on the faces, so fantastic. Overall, just a great looking deck of cards, so the look of this deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. This deck right here handles better than a lot of decks in my collection. It's probably one of the best handling decks that I have actually had the pleasure of gracing my hands in a very long time. It handles beautifully, well over time. It does not clump pretty much ever, no matter how long you use it for. The stock is soft, it's springy. The cards just feel great in your hands and this is just a deck I would completely recommend to anyone and everyone if you can get your hands on one. So the handling and feel of this deck, I would have to give a five out of five. So thank you guys so much for watching my David Blaine Gatorbacks deck review. If you guys like this video, this review right here, definitely give that a thumbs up down below to just let me know you guys truly enjoyed this review right here. Also, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this deck right here, definitely leave that in the comment section below. I would love to interact with you guys. Also, be sure to subscribe down below to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. It's your only way to be notified, and it's 100% free, so just go ahead and just go do that real quick. Also, be sure to keep up to date with me. All my social media links are down below as well. My Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I post really cool pictures on Instagram. Go follow me. Definitely go check all of those out and keep up to date with me on a daily basis. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video right here, and definitely be sure to check out my next deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.